Hi everyone in the world! Yahoo! みんな、もち先生です。みなさん、漢字の勉強はしていますか Are you guys studying kanji? Kanji, kanji, kanji. So hard, right? But I'm really happy to read comments like I'm working really hard on kanji and stuff. I've already told you guys about writing system in Japanese, including hiragana, katakana, and kanji in my previous video. Hiragana is this, katakana is this, and kanji is this. If you haven't checked this video yet, please please watch this first and then come back to this video. Well, as you guys all know, kanji is a system of Japanese writing using Chinese characters. The character has Japanese pronunciations, most have two, with one based on Chinese sound. A few characters were invented in Japan by constructing character components revived from other Chinese characters. Now, do you know how many kanji in total? There are 50,000 kanji. Maybe I can read your mind right now like Anya. You just thought that's impossible to memorize, didn't you? Don't worry, I feel the same. Of course, I don't know all of the 50,000 kanji, even though I'm native Japanese. The Japanese Ministry of Education has established a list called Joyo Kanji. With a total of 2,136 kanji. This list was made to catalog the most used kanji in the Japanese language, newspaper, TV, books, and more. Which means you only have to memorize 2,000 kanji out of 50,000 kanji. So that sounds much more easier, right? And how many kanji do you need for first step? To pass N5 is only 103 kanji, and N4 about 400 kanji, N3 600, N2 1000, and total 2103 kanji. Now let's focus on N5. So again, there are only 103 kanji that you have to memorize to pass N5. That means if you memorize 10 kanji per day, 10 days are enough to learn N5 kanji. Also, when you learn kanji, for example, this kanji, I'm sure you will also gonna learn vocabulary such like taberu, tabemono, shokuji. So, you can learn some vocabularies per one kanji with several different readings. Don't you start thinking like, hmm, I might can start learning kanji. Good, good. Yes. Kanji looks difficult, but it's not that difficult than you think. Now, here's today's topic how to learn kanji. Again, I've told you already in this video start learning by radicals, practice stroke orders, learn joyo kanji, flashcards, and reading Japanese as much as you can. But sometimes, just studying in front of your desk with your textbook is really boring and it's really hard to keep your motivation, right? The best way to learn and memorize kanji is spaced repetition. It's easy to forget kanji if you learn without really space repetition. Let's have a look at the forgetting curve here. This shows how our retention of knowledge weakens over time without reviewing. Space repetition is research proven the most powerful technique for strengthening one's memory. Remember all the kanji you crammed the night before your exam but faded away a few days later? In opposition to the cramming method, By which you can learn kanji in a short period but will forget soon afterward. Spaced repetition method asks you to revise kanji and vocabulary at systematic intervals. Here's a great app, Mochi Mochi. The app of the name is same as me, Mochi Sensei and Mochi Mochi. A Japanese learning app that used spaced repetition system helps you memorize kanji and vocabulary fast and effectively with golden time. Let's open this app. Mochi, mochi. Kawaii! With this app, you can choose the course that suits you. For example, this is a list of N5 kanji and vocab. You can learn many kanji and vocab from all of these situations, such as business, traveling, at the hospital, and so on. Learn new vocabulary, and let's start. This is really common kanji. You know this kanji, yeah? Watashi, me, I. 
and type the correct reading. あの人あの人 That person. The meaning is that person. あの人あの人 And reading practice again. And there's also a example sentence. あの人は教師さんです。Select the one it says teacher. 教師学生学生 And again, select the right one. 学生あの人は学生です。Now it's combining the previous word. あの人 and 学生会社員会社員 Company employee. Which one says company employee? And do you remember how to read it? Kai sha im. Kai sha im. Hari san wa kai sha im des. Ginko im. Ginko im. Bank employee. And this is not only kanji, you can also practice reading of hiragana too, of course. So it's a really, really good app for beginners. Isha. Isha. And choose the correct answer. Isha. 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 Engineer. 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 Nihon. 日本 You guys already know this. Japan. 日本日本 Like this, you're gonna do quizzes every day. もちもち app will notificate your golden time. And I want you to challenge learning 1000 kanji and vocabulary in one month. That means about 33 kanjis per day. As my experience, 1000 kanji in a month seems impossible, but it's not impossible at all if you use any tool such l i k e this kind of app. But if I try to do it just by myself, in that case, it's really really hard to reach this goal 1000 kanji and vocabulary. I think many of you guys had the same experience like me. For example, I was planning to do something today, but Never mind, I'm so lazy today, I don't want to do it. Let's do it tomorrow and never do it. You guys have the same experience too, right? Like diet, studying Spanish, cleaning the house, laundry. This happens a lot when you try to do it just by yourself. But what if someone h e l p you? What if someone cheer you up like, hey, hey, it's time to study Japanese, so let's do it. Again, Mochi Mochi app calculates the golden time and reminds you to review at the golden time. So, with Mochi Mochi app, don't you think it will be more reassuring than studying alone? Mochi Mochi device will learn vocabulary and kanji into five levels from level one, which you just learned, to level five, which you memorize well in your long term memory. I mean, the kanji and words in level 1 will be reminded less than those in level 5 following space repetition system. So it's easy to follow and know which kanji you need to practice more. Coincidentally, my name is also Mochi Sensei. So think like I'm giving you the notification. Time to study! So then you're not alone studying. So, how was it, guys? Did you get an image of studying kanji? Trust me. After you learn kanji, you can no longer read a long text without kanji. Also, kanji is really interesting. A lot of kanji makes sense as its shape. For example, isn't it interesting if you know these? More you know deep, more you'll get fun learning Japanese. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Mata ne.